Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wire Network. In this video, I'll walk you through the complete process of installing and configuring Pi-hole on a Debian-based system. Pi-hole is a powerful, network-wide ad blocker that helps improve your internet speed, reduce unwanted ads, and protect your devices from tracking and malicious domains. Whether you're setting this up on VirtualBox or real hardware, this guide is beginner-friendly and easy to follow. So, let's get started and take control of your network. Step 1. Reserve a static IP address for Pi-hole. In our first step, we'll reserve a static IP address for the Pi-hole on our TP-Link Omada ER605 router. If you're using a different router, you can follow a similar process based on your router's firmware, the steps are generally the same across most brands. On the Omada ER605 router, go to Network, LAN, DHCP client list. Locate your Pi-hole device in the list, identify its current IP address, then click to reserve it so the router always assigns the same IP to Pi-hole. Step 2. Update Debian System. Next, we'll access the Debian system via SSH and update it to the latest version to ensure it's secure and up-to-date. Open your SSH client and enter the IP address of your Pi-hole server to initiate the connection. Next, enter your Debian system's administrator credentials to gain the necessary permissions for system updates and configuration. Next, run the following commands to update the system to the latest packages. Enter the administrator password and press enter. Step 3. Install required dependencies. Before installing Pi-hole, make sure to install the necessary dependencies by running the following command. Step 4. Install Pi-hole. Run the following command to start the Pi-hole installation process. This command downloads and launches the official Pi-hole automated installer. Once you run it, the interactive setup wizard will open in your terminal. Once the Pi-hole installation is complete, the system will display the IP address and the web admin interface URL on the screen. You can access the Pi-hole dashboard by opening a web browser and entering the displayed IP address followed by slash admin. Step 5. Set or reset Pi-hole admin password.
To set the pihole admin password, run the command sudo pihole set password. After executing the command, you'll be prompted to enter a new password for the web interface. Step 6. Access Pi-hole Admin Panel In your open web browser, type the Pi-hole IP address followed by slash admin in the address bar. Next, enter your Pi-hole Admin password to access the dashboard. In the next step, we're going to configure the Pi-hole IP address as the DNS server on our computer. This means we'll manually set our system to use Pi-hole for all DNS lookups instead of the default DNS provided by the router or ISP. Next, I'm going to visit a website known for displaying heavy ads, such as the Eucla speed test site, to check if Pi-hole is actively blocking ads. As you can see, Pi-hole is successfully blocking ads on the website. You should notice that no ads are displayed on the page. This confirms that Pi-hole is effectively blocking unwanted advertisements and tracking domains, resulting in a cleaner and faster browsing experience. Next, go to the Tools section in the Admin panel and select Update Gravity to refresh the list of blocked domains. Next, if you want to allow a specific website, you can add its domain to the Allow list from the Pi-hole Admin panel.